It's a true crime story that's caught the nation's attention. The disappearance of a man and woman in their early 30s who went missing in December while under investigation over the death of the woman's husband back in June 2019. Though we've been able to confirm that the woman in question, Eun He, and her alleged accomplice, Cho Hyun Su, have been banned from leaving South Korea, they've completely vanished without a trace. First, let's piece together what we do know. Yi's husband was 39 at the time of his death in a valley in Gapyeong, a popular staycation spot in Gyeonggi province, but he couldn't swim and was somehow persuaded to enter the water in Yongsu Valley, apparently left to drown. You might think that sounds like a tragic accident, but several months earlier, Yi and Jo had allegedly tried to poison him while holidaying in Gangwon province. According to prosecutors, he was fed food mixed with toxic pufferfish parts, but survived. And another suspected plan to lead him to his death by drowning failed at a fishing site in Gyeonggi province, apparently witnessed by Jo's ex-girlfriend based on her own testimony. So what would have been Yi and Jo's motive? Prosecutors have determined they were lovers who planned to claim an insurance payout of 800 million won. The husband's life insurance policy, taken out in 2017, was due to expire just hours after he died. The insurance company refused to pay on suspicion of fraud during the screening process, but police closed their investigation before interest in the case was rekindled first by a family friend of the victim, and then by a TV show in 2020. By early 2021, Incheon prosecutors had started a full reinvestigation. E and Jo appeared before investigators in December, but before they could appear a second time, they'd disappeared. There's now nationwide interest in their whereabouts. Investigators believe they may be hiding in this country, perhaps with some help, as they haven't used any credit cards or mobile phones in their names since December. The online community is now fully engaged, sharing information about the deaths of two other men E dated in the past. One of them was killed in a traffic accident in Incheon in 2010, while E was also in the car, but she survived and received insurance money. The second died while snorkeling with E in Thailand. Both of those deaths were considered accidental, but given the current situation, investigators are having to consider the possibility of a serial killer on their hands. In a further and rather sad twist, footage has emerged of E as a child, when she appeared on a TV show as her family were going through great difficulties, and she said on camera that she wanted to help the less fortunate. While we're left wondering what happened to that child, we're also asking, where is the woman and her suspected lover now?